condensers and ash mixed, creating violent electrical discharge. The lightning is dangerous, but ash is a far worse threat. Just a foot of ash is heavy enough to destabilize a ship. At 5 p.m., the Bering family headed towards the hills to the northeast, away from the spreading ash cloud. Joanna recorded the following account. The journey was one I would hope never to go through again. We were unable to take the road and were forced to walk. First up a coastal track and then through a wood with no path. Please, I need to rest. Behind us was a continuous terrible roaring, as if the sea was still trying to catch us. Where are we going? Peter, I told you to be your part. I don't remember. Peter, I'm sorry. Come and rest. I should go back and help with the evacuation. The muster relief from Tilok Betong is a battalion for the seventh ability there to deal with the insurgents. It'll take three days. Look around you. If Van Sandik's men stayed, they're already dead. And you will die too if you return. These people, they understand. Go on, Peter. Jump. That's a good boy. Let's go. There are many stories about the mountain, about how the spirit of the mountain broke the land into pieces and sunk into the sea, and how it was reborn out of the sea, and some people say how it will come again to destroy. I've got it. The Javanese Book of Kings. Mr. It is our history. It was only published in Dutch a few years ago. This chap, Rangawa Sita, collected all the folklore. I picked it up in Batavia. I thought it might be interesting. Listen to this. The year 416. At last, with a tremendous roar, the mountain burst into pieces and sunk into the depths of the earth. And the next verse. The water of the sea rose and flooded the land. Pass me the map. If I'm right and history is repeating itself, then an eruption of this magnitude will generate a wave that... It will engulf this entire coastline. May God have mercy on their souls. I had thought that 30 miles of ocean would protect us from Krakatoa. But what we had seen so far was just the beginning. to go below. What? No. Why on earth should we do that? Because the ash is unbalancing this ship. It's making her top heavy. So what does this mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that if I can't lower her center of gravity, she'll capsize. You mean we are going to be human barracks? Along with the coolies. It's for the good of everyone on board. I won't do it. I won't be packed in there with feast. Now, I can natural. distribute the weight in one of two ways, sir. Below or overboard. It's your choice. 
Oh, for God's sake, you're not going to do this, are you? Come on! Get on the hole! Get it hard, you're coming down there. Why don't you step down there? What are you doing here, miss? What can I do to help? You get below with all the others. I, I don't want to hide. I want to do something. What's your name, miss? Elizabeth. Well, Elizabeth, you can help me by being strong. You understand? Because if you are, they will be. family, your uh, wife and children, where are they? They went into the hills to end with the others. I must miss them very much. Earlier at the, the house, I... I thought I'd never see them again. Eight thirty PM. The Loudon had now been at sea for more than twelve hours. Around it, the ash was sucking moisture from the air. We reached our hill farm by the late afternoon, 
and in my heart I thanked God that we'd at last reached safety. But God cannot have been listening, because the worst horror was yet to come. You all know me and know you can trust me. You're under my protection. And by God, I shall do my duty by you. You're my children. There's no need to be frightened. You're safe here. I am... Um, my family are here with me. And I shall stay with you as I shall stay with them. May God be with us all. That morning, there was no dawn on Krakatoa. Throughout the night, the explosions increased. A series of booms could be heard hundreds of miles away. The volcano was entering a new phase. leave the light. It should have been dawn two hours ago. Go back downstairs. Look to your mother. I want the baby to stop crying. Because Mama doesn't have enough love. What will that achieve? Don't you understand? This is all my fault. What's your fault? How can this be your fault? I should have known. I could have warned them. I can still warn them. The sea is coming! After 20 hours of constant eruption, the magma chamber of Krakatoa was empty. With nothing to support it, the volcano began to collapse. The resulting blast was so great, it was heard 3,000 miles away in Australia. The loudest noise in recorded history. Millions of tons of ash and pumice poured into the ocean. Triggering a tsunami more destructive than anything that had come before.